Okay, so I used to have projects for my classes and when we purchased the My IT Lab uh, starting in this fall 2014 semester, I changed from my own personal projects to their practical exams, but they're the same idea is that you know, working in my IT lab to do the training and exams is a good way to get introduced to Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in our case. But to really, for me, feel like you have a better understanding, you need to actually take and use the product in a way that integrates those skills. So the practical exams are really that intention, that's what they're in, intended to provide you. So in our course, in here under, under, let me just show you where I'm at, is under my IT labs, under all the listings of items, and hopefully you've already gone through this first video, and you see the video you're watching here, and if you scroll through after the word training, um, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, then we get to our first word practical exam, chapters one through three. Okay, so I'll go over and show you where these are at in a minute, but I want you to know that the practical exams and all the I, My IT Lab items are all listed under the same My IT Lab in our course. Okay, so let's go ahead and go now and look at these in My IT Lab. I'm over here, I've already logged in as the student account. I'm going to go to course materials, and it's pretty easy to see once we get in there because you have um, you have Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and when you click into each one of these, then you have the training and exams that I was talking about before that you have for each chapter, and then we have the practical exams. So let me come in here. So here's our first one, and if I click on it, what it gives you is you're going to get a starter file. Okay, so you'll have download some files. And here are all the files that it wants you to download, and you can say download all the zip files. Now this is going to be different for every version, uh, or for every different topic we do. So for Excel, it'll be a different download, but it's the same idea. Okay? So then I have, in this case, downloaded this starting material.zip. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show you. So this gives you a couple of documents and a couple of files. Right? And in addition, if I move this over just a little bit so you can see it, right? it gives you um, the grading information, so if you want to open up that. So here's what you need to know, is you need to have some version of Microsoft Office. Notice I don't even have 2013 on this particular computer. 2010 should work fine. Now the reason you might want to use Microsoft Office 2013 to complete this work is that that's what you've been trained on. Let me go ahead and enable editing. Um, that's what you've been trained on when you were trained on my IT lab or when you were trained with Office in our particular class. So if you can get access to the most current version, I think it would be a little easier to walk through the items. Okay. So in this case, um, I'm not even sure how this file is used, so let's actually go back. Now that we have the downloads, we can return here, right, and it'll tell us to download and open the file, work on the assignment, so do, and here are all the items you need to do. Okay, so there are in this case several steps you have to take. So there's like 28 steps you actually have to make changes to this document that we're going to start with. Okay, so the first step is you're going to open up Word and open up that, and I believe that's the document I open. Let's go back and look. Okay, oh, that's something different. Different zip file from earlier. Okay. So let's look at what it says. It says open go greater one. Yeah, okay, so that is the one I opened. said open that and make sure the formatting marks are displayed. And then it says on page one, increase something, right? So that's, that's step two. So you have 28 steps you have to actually sum to do. And when you end up, your document will look very different than it begins with. Okay, so um, you can save this for later. There is an option. Let me find out where that's at. And we're not going to submit. Okay, we can return to the course at this point. So you, once you download the files, you can actually, the other thing you could do, because I thought they included a file 
Um, the other, I was going to say the other thing you could do is cut and paste all this to have it. Um, but here's what I want to tell you. So I'm actually going to return to the course. Click on will cause activity to close. Any files will be uploaded will be removed from the system. Right, and we will because we're not ready to actually upload yet. So if when I run through this, and I've run through part of it, when I run through the entire, because I'll do all this work to make sure I know how every step runs. I kind of have an overview now because it is a new product for us that we're using. If I find there's places that I feel you're going to get hung up, I will include that here. And you'll have a video showing you at least the places that I fill, or I might end up doing the whole thing. We'll see. Uh, it depends on if I feel like there's some questions that aren't worded right. So, but that's what you'll need to do to complete the practical exams. Okay? You'll download some files, you'll do some work to those files, and then you'll upload that file back in here. Now let me turn back to you and tell you something that I want to make sure is clear. One of the things about this particular way of doing work, okay, is that it does check your file against other student files. So not that you would, but if a student was to say a friend took this, did this work and then gave me the file, the system is going to catch that. So don't do that, okay? Do your own work and upload your file into Blackboard. Or, I'm sorry, upload your, upload your file into my IT lab. Which actually brings up the next question. It's like, if this is due in my IT lab, how do I submit it in Blackboard? Will it be very similar, probably the same, as the way you've done it for the other training and exams? Okay, but again, I will have a little more video once we get close to that item to show you how to do that. All right, so this is your overview of the My IT Lab Practical Assignment exams. Just to complete, let's just remind ourselves how much of this is our class worth, and it's 15%. You'll have three of them, one for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Each one is worth 5%, as much as the final, really. So it's an important part of our class for you to get. All right, I hope this helps you out. I'll talk to you later.